Hey Fishtube, I'm Steven. Look at this stupid thing. Yep, I'm on camera a little bit for this one. Just thought I'd ease into the idea of getting comfortable actually being in front of the camera and not getting too hung up on looking and sounding like an idiot. So I'm trying it out for the beginning of this video, just me and the camera. No jump cuts, no excessive editing, or any other kind of alterations. And whatever happens, happens. There will be lots of editing. A week ago I posted a review of the current Serene background kit. Um, here's a clip from that video. There. In the video, I mentioned it's nice and full of zen and all that good stuff, but the one gripe that I had about it was the lack of automation. You have one setting, and if you want to change it, you need the remote. And I am spoiled. I like all my lights being on timers and dimmers. I like that the Fluval has the Bluetooth app that I can change all the colors and stuff. I'm just, uh, hell, even my, uh, my house lights are all automated. I wanted to add a little something dynamic to the light kit. I ordered some $16 Wi-Fi enabled strip lights and made this uh, fine piece of craftsmanship out of some scraps in my storage room. So let's take a look. If you want to set up something like this, the strip light I used was GoSun brand. I have some of their smart plugs too, so I figured it's going to be a decent product overall. In fact, I have the current Serene light on one of those smart plugs. The strip lights are about 16 feet long, um, more than enough for what I needed, but most of them are either 16 or 32 feet long, and a lot of them are trimmable. Just make sure to read the instructions on what points you can safely cut without damaging anything. If you've never worked with strip lights, they're pretty versatile for custom lighting. Some are even waterproof or fully submersible, and you can customize even further with a diffuser. The strip has an adhesive backing end to end, so mounting is easy. And given how flexible a thin plastic ribbon is, you can get creative with shapes. Full disclosure, I am an unpaid strip light shill. Anyway. I wanted my tank to be reminiscent of a landscape painting with the rising or setting sun. Notice the shape it takes over the horizon and the blend of colors you see. I think some of that's caused by pollution. So beautiful. So my first thought, how about a light taped to a ping pong paddle? But then I thought about it a little longer and I was like, how about I make it out of trash? So what are we looking at here? Scrap wood and the finest in wood laminate flooring. The top piece is eight by 16 inches with a 32 inch long strip underneath it. I had this stuff lying around, but you can use anything reasonably rigid, cardboard, styrofoam, cat. You probably already have your tank close to the wall anyway, so poster board would work. Or stick it straight on your painted wall, cause I mean, screw it. The light arrangement is probably self-explanatory, uh, tapering zigzag here gives me the effect I want. If you do it right the first time and are satisfied, the adhesive backing will stick just fine, but I messed around with it a little too much, so hence the tape for reinforcement. Here it is set up behind my tank, notice I have the serene light bar moved to the top now. So here's where the Wi-Fi part comes in. Plug in the lights, pl plug, plug them in and get out your phone. You'll need to download an app called Smart Life. You might have heard of it already. It's just a universal smart home app that works with a lot of different brands of devices. With Smart Life installed, you're going to press the blue plus sign to pair your device and follow the instructions from there to connect to your Wi-Fi. Now you can use the app to adjust color, brightness, and saturation settings. There's also a scene option for cycling colors, music syncing, full-on disco party, I assume. Nothing I really looked into that much. The fish are probably mad enough that I keep changing everything around in their tank. Most important to me was being able to schedule color changes so I can decide the intensity and color of the sun throughout the day. Here's how you set that up. 
First, you want to decide how long you want these lights to stay on and set up a basic on-off schedule. I actually do a long photo period in this tank for display purposes, most of it being very dim in the morning and evening. So I want to start these backlights at 6 a.m. Set that. Make sure you tell it to run the schedule every day. Now I want to turn them off at 9 p.m. Okay, done with that. Back to the home screen of the app. Tap smart, cause we're about to get smart. You can see I already have a few scheduled color changes, so this will just be an example of what I did. Hit that blue plus sign and you'll see a choice of conditions. You might like to play around with the other choices, but for now, let's just go with the simple schedule. So let's say your lights come on at 6 a.m. and you want a warm sunrise to go with the early morning light ramp up, so you'll set it to 6 a.m. Then don't forget to tell it to repeat this schedule every day. Now we go to the next step and select run the device. You'll find your strip lights in the list and then we can select the color we want. Here's where you can decide on shade, brightness, and saturation. So 6 a.m. sun, let's make it a basic red, which will give us some violet shades across the back glass. Hit save and next, then you can just hit save again. Don't worry about the effective period down here at the bottom. Your on off schedule and automation settings will override anything that you set in this area. Now maybe we want it to be a little less red an hour later. So 7 a.m. Slide to the right, one hop this time, and done. It would be nice if you could program it to gradually shift from one color to the next, but that sort of functionality might be reserved for lights costing more than 20 bucks or so. As an ultra tedious workaround of that, I suppose I could program a color change every half hour or every hour or every five minutes. And maybe someday I'll take enough Adderall to find that sort of activity enticing. There you have it. Pretty easy light mod. I mean, really, you don't even need the current Serene background kit to do this. You can get your own LEDs from Amazon, and you can get the frosted glass film pretty much anywhere. Just a note on these strip lights, though. They definitely aren't bright enough to do the same thing that the current Serene does in terms of like lighting up the entire film across the back but as you can see there's more than one way to do backlighting what do you think have you done backlighting before are you thinking about doing it now let me know in the comments and like this video subscribe thank you so much for watching fishtube really is the best community on youtube by far see you next time